Hello, and welcome to the 11th video log of Tim. Um, it's only been six years, and uh, in those last six years, I've been busy with various other projects, but finally got Tim back out, um, managed to get hold of the paper tape printer again, and uh, got some new programs to play with. Um, so recently, I've been trying to get uh, Tim to actually output to some form of display in this, and um, realized it's actually not that hard to talk to a parallel port on a printer. Um, so I've got this little circuit down here that uh, just connects into Tim's AUX port and uh, interfaces with a standard printer parallel port. Um, it's very simple to talk to a regular printer parallel port, it turns out. It's just send it an ASCII character and then a trigger pulse and it'll um, print out that character using an internal font that it um, has stored. Um, so it's just a case of uh, producing ASCII characters and then um, sending a pulse and it'll print them. Um, it sounds simple enough, but trying to get a relay computer interface to digital logic um, is surprisingly difficult. Um, these are some early attempts and uh, the problem is you get switch bounce. So um, once you the switch switches, it chatters a bit and giving multiple pulses or um, where it's the correct length, uh, the pulse isn't sharp enough. So it's not quite um, not quite registering the, the uh, print pulse properly. Um, but uh, I've got it all working now, so I'll fire it up and show you what it can do, hopefully. So that programs essentially um, the standard print hello world, um, or if any of you did basic, uh, print hello world go to 10, and just in a constant loop. Um, obviously this is slightly more than the traditional two lines of code, if I get the tape out. So this is hello world in Tim. Uh, it's not actually that long a program, but uh, it's still quite a few commands. Um, so yeah, I'll be playing around with this and seeing if I can get uh, it to print either hexadecimal or binary or some other results. Printing ASCII is, is easy because you just send uh, write in an ASCII character and then print it out. Actually printing results and converting them from binary into ASCII is surprisingly difficult when you've only got 16 bytes of RAM and a fairly finite amount of program space, but we'll see what we can do. Anyway, thank you very much, and hopefully see you in sooner than six years.